When I paint bees, people often see the difficulties the bees are facing. My dream is that the same murals that we're creating to raise awareness about what's going on with them will someday have no connection to raising awareness at all. They'll see them as monuments to the change that we've created together. My name is Matt Willey. I am the, an artist and I'm the founder of the Good of the Hive Initiative. Um, it was a friend of mine said, well, how many bees are in a healthy, thriving hive? And, and you know, 30 to 60,000 are what people say. So he said, think you could paint 50,000? And, yeah, and he kind of was like joking about it. And I said, could I paint 50,000 honeybees? And I thought, let's see. <laughs> Everywhere we've painted, there has been something special that has happened. People were agreeing and connecting while hanging out on the mural sites. People are talking to each other, and very different people. Old guys and little kids. You have hipsters and other types of people, whoever, are standing there suddenly telling stories about bees. And so by generating awareness about them, we're actually generating connection and agreement between people. In our world where it seems like nobody can seem to agree on what's going on with the climate, with the politics, with everything, but there is this thing that happens when people are talking about honeybees. It's almost like they're remembering that there's this thing we can agree about in all of us. It's a living, breathing example of the hope I have in the human spirit. Because when we connect, change becomes possible. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. That excited me. That fueled the work even more. Okay, we're here in Carborough, North Carolina at the fire station and we're gonna paint some bees on the wall and then we're gonna have some help from the firefighters painting some flower petals. And I guess I'm just gonna go paint a bee now. Painting bees. It's a regular old day of painting bees. Last year was a complete success. I've painted 1,250 bees in eight murals, and that is just the beginning. We're looking to expand the initiative going forward. A swarm of bees only happens when a beehive is healthy and thriving. It is the natural evolution of growth. Yeah. That's the way I see the good of the hive right now. It grew, it's already grown to a point where we're ready to keep expanding. It's another year, we have to keep going with the work. We have to keep paying attention to what's going on with the honeybees. It's not just gonna suddenly be better. Every problem the bee has is human related. That's an optimistic point of view because humans, we can change us. 
we all have to figure out how to exist together and agree on the things that just need to happen so that we can all be here and thrive together. It takes a lot of bees to create a swarm. That's why we need your help to do it. My intention is that by the time I've painted the 50,000th bee, we will have a healthy honeybee population and it'll become an icon of change and celebration. I mean, who knows, maybe all of what's happening with the bees and the environment is so we can experience the beauty of repairing it. I have 48,750 bees left to paint and we're looking for your help to expand the initiative to include large scale art installation pieces that can travel, more film and video than we were able to do last year so we can broaden people's engagement with the initiative. We're beginning to create educational materials and hope to add a wide range of events for people to participate in at the mural sites. With your help, we can take this initiative to more communities and more people and really begin to make it into something that can celebrate the bees on a global scale. Thank you for your time and thank you for considering donating to the good of the hive.